Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator and head witch behind Bahati Life of Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. So as you can see, we have three piles here that you can choose from, and we're pretty much just going to dive into what spirit wants you to know or the guidance, the insight and advice for the situation that you are facing. Or if you are not facing a situation or don't have anything on your heart, it's the general advice that spirit can give you at this moment in time. So feel free to pause this video and take a moment to connect with each of the objects. The first object is the rose quartz point, which I love. The next object, I forget how to, I forget the name of this and also the name of it, I forget how to pronounce it, but I use it all the time when it comes to, when I need to direct energy or build up energy. And then the third object that I have is this, I forget what crystal this is too, but this third pyramid. So or second pyramid, I should say. So again, um, go ahead and pause the video if you need to, and I will definitely meet you at your timestamp. Okay, my love, so if you chose the Rose Quartz Crystal, this is your reading. Oh wow, that one definitely wanted to jump out. So first things first, we have Seven of Cups. In this case, this is the Seven of Baskets. And this has a lot to do with mental clarity um, or the need, the desire to have mental clarity when it comes to facing choices and decisions in your life. I'm hearing reconcile. So this is certain parts within yourself that are striving to harmonize and come together. You may be really trying to figure out and wonder. As I said that, I have a candle burning on the left. Um, a fixed candle burning on the left, the herbs just pop. So there might be something in your life right now that you are trying to, I don't want to say force alignment with, but trying to figure out how you can align, how, what you can do in order to make alignment happen, in order to make something come together, in order to make something manifest or, re I, I don't know why I'm hearing the word reveal itself, show itself. Yeah, eight of baskets. This is another card connected to emotion and intuition. With Eight of Cups, you are being faced with having to walk away or spirit is talking to you about walking away from something, something that seemingly doesn't feel like it's harmonizing or coming together. Or what is this? Three of Baskets again, so more emotions. Three of Baskets, interesting, Three of Cups. This card is jumping out too, 10 of wands. Some of you guys might need to take a break from, um, I just heard exercising your right to fill in the blank. So some of you guys might need to take a break from, um, I don't say distractions, but from other people, from, there's definitely a, 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 um, a message here about maybe partying or, or friends or, family, just having a lot of people around you. You might be needing to walk away from that or I'm also getting a sense of cleansing your energy after you have spent time with others because you might be picking up the energies of those around you. Um, it's interesting that the Seven of Cups is here. She's sitting in this bath and the reason why she's sitting in this bath is because she has a lot of feelings emotions, things that she started to take on, and now she needs to have an herbal bath, have an aura cleanse, have a cleansing bath in order to reset her energy, in order to cleanse her energy from what she has emotionally picked up from once she left a situation. So this could be something um, significant, like 
you walking away from a connection. This could be you spending time with your family or friends or traveling or in a hotel room or something. And you picked up on the energy of that space. And now you need to cleanse your body, cleanse your aura, cleanse your energy of whatever it was that you were in. So that's what spirit really wants to talk to you about right now. Spirit, is there any additional messages? Yeah. Um, page of wands in this case this is the daughter of sticks this is reversed i i am getting a big sense that if you carry on the energy of other people around you or if you don't do this cleansing bath if you don't do this cleansing ritual for yourself um you could start to notice or begin to notice a diminishing in your ideas and your energy you start to feel exhausted and spirit doesn't want that for you because there's a lot of opportunity um that exists there's a lot of opportunity at hand is what it is that i'm hearing there's a lot of things that spirit wants to give to you and put into your hands however if your energy is clouded foggy or being weighed down by the, the vibes of other people. And I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing. So let's say, let's say you have been guided to depart from something or your life has guided you to depart away from something or someone or a certain circumstance. This actually, this feels very, very positive. It feels very uplifting, but spirit recognizes that at the end of anything, whether it be a trip, whether it be Let's say you actually left your home or you you're or yeah, you're like leaving your home. It could be vice versa. Like that's your sanctuary, that's your sacred space. But you like when you're going to go to this next destination, you might be going on a trip or a vacation, leave what you have left behind and energetically walk into this fresh. Energetically walk into this open. And I do see like the first thing that you do is that you take a bath in order to reset your energy into the spirit of or the energy of relaxation or regeneration or fresh beginning or joy, right? Especially with the three of cups here, it feels so uplifting. It feels really good. So whatever it is that you are headed, this fresh start, this new beginning, we want, it's very important, it's very essential that you take this time yeah, eight of pentacles in order to leave what didn't work or to leave what you have walked away from, leave that behind because it's going to, or energetically cleanse yourself, lift it off of you because if you don't, it will start, to, you'll notice that your energy will start to zap. Your energy will start to drag. You'll need to be uh, I'm also hearing that for some of you guys, your energy has already started to drag and zip is what I'm hearing. Like it's starting to get like pulled out. And that is a sign for you to right now take a, a vacation to walk away from the responsibilities, from the burdens, from the home, from this connection, whatever. And reset, reset. I'm seeing for a lot of you guys kind of similar to what I was talking about on, on my YouTube channel recently about going to the ocean, taking aura cleansing baths. Anytime when you're about to walk away from something or a chapter has ended for good or for bad, you must cleanse your energy. And this has to, has to do with aura, energy, detoxes, bath, bath cleansing, cleansing baths, um, saging yourself, using healing smoke, cleansing smoke in order to reset your energy using wands in order to redirect energy i have crystal bowls over here in order to redirect your energy all of those things all of the above okay so that's what i'm getting here spirit is very i don't want to say excited for you but it feels very uplifting it feels very supportive so it gives me the vibe that you are a thousand percent on the right track is there any advice that you can give to my rose quartz people right now spirit what advice can you give to them spirit's kind of telling me to kind of shuffle and redo this which is so interesting because again this has a lot to do with really kind of switching the game up switching the energy up right if you guys hear any um 
heavy breathing in the background. That's Nova. She's with me and we're in the sunroom right now, so it's a little hot. And also Franklin is here. Yeah, there's a big emphasis on new energy. Kind of, I just see someone kind of like clapping their hands. Um, in order to reset the energy, reset the vibe. This feels very much like a fresh start. Spirit, what, is there anything they need to know? Any advice that you can give to them at this moment? Son of Swords, I'm hearing, or Son, Son of Knives. This is the page, page or Knight of Swords. But interesting, I feel like this is this message of like not looking back. Um, don't overthink where, like what, how, how things have transpired. I'm getting a big emphasis on, I'm hearing logical deviation and the way that spirit is weaving those words to me. It means that it, this is not like it's, it's going to defy your logic. It's going to, um, move past your understanding. Um, I'm also thinking some of you guys might have guilt or shame or trouble with taking, like accepting, I guess, or being comfortable with this, I don't want to say trip, but it could be a vacation. It could be a, a retreat. Some of you guys might be having a, a difficult time with leaving your responsibilities behind. For some of you guys, there might be a baby involved or children or something that's like a child to you that you're afraid of. I'm also hearing what will they think? So you might be concerned with how people think about you or if the feelings, like what their feelings are for you. Spirit is like, don't really worry about that. The next card to jump out was the three of pentacles. And what I love about this always that I notice is her determination, her focus. It shows me 100% that you are on the right path, especially when it comes to your healing, because the next card we have here is the star card. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, the star card. This has a lot to do with your healing. Walking away, going on a trip, switching up your energy, switching up the vibe, stepping away is very, very cathartic. It's very, very healing. It's very, very cleansing. And that's the advice that spirit wants to give to you. If not, the five of swords, it, it starts to turn into you, your energy starts to feel very overprotective or anybody that's involved can feel the fact that they have to keep operating at this state, keep operating at this stage. And they start to, that stage starts to wear down. It starts to wear a person down. It starts to wear their resistance down. So they start to something that could be positive starts to turn into an opposition. So if you have been called to walk away from something, just realize that the walking away is actually one of the best things that you can do in order to give this, give yourself and this situation of a, a, a breath of fresh air, like new light. Yep, 10 of pentacles. Some of you guys are really concerned with, cause I was asking about um, the page or page or night of knives here. Um, you're concerned. You feel like something is going to be taken away from you or that it'll be like, it'll slow down your bag or slow down your abundance or slow down what, how far you've come or what you worked so hard to achieve or it'll halt your future. Don't worry about that. Some things, guys, I'm really getting this strong sense of fate here that spirit has heard your prayers or the divine has heard your prayers or they have heard your, they have heard you. They know what you want. They know what you need. And the answer to that is to take, to take a step back, to surrender it, not in letting it go, but allowing new energy to breathe in. So if you're worried about abundance, if you're worried about love, if you're, if you have anxiety and you keep looking back in order to understand and to continue to find new ways to make it work. This is the way that spirit is saying, this is how you can make it work. This is how you can advance. This is how you can level up. This is how you can secure the bag, receive abundance, um, connect deeper on, on in love, you know? Okay. So that's a really positive message. Okay. And any last final words? <sighs> Yeah, I just feel this really nice 
Now I can relax. Yep, look at that, you guys. We have the full card here, which is the Fresh Start, and the Son of Wands, who, or Son of Sticks, who is so excited to get started, to start a new venture. And I can't ignore the fact that both of these cards were reversed when I flipped them over. That is okay, because this shows that there might be some level of fear with going on a new start, a new venture, a, a fresh beginning, a new beginning. But Spirit is saying, have enthusiasm, have excitement. Look at this situation with fresh eyes and, and cleanse yourself and cleanse your aura. Do an energetic bath. Um, if you are working on a creative project, it's like you taking the weekend off or the week off from not thinking about it is all that you need in order to bring things back. The other thing too that I keep seeing is this emphasis of boomerang energy. And we're finally landing on that with this son of sticks. He's holding a boomerang. You have a lot of cards throughout the reading that we're talking about giving people things, the space to come back to you, right? So for some of you guys, you're concerned that what you threw out, what you put out, what you said is not going to come back. Spirit is saying you have to trust that it will come back. And I, as cliche as it sounds and as cliche as it is, what is for you will not miss you. And a boomerang will always come back to its owner. You know what I mean? And the vision that I did and I'm saying here is like a parrot or the vision that spirit is showing me right now as a parrot where you want to make sure that this thing, this circumstance is not all talk, right? There's a really specific random message connected to this. You want to make sure that it's not all talk, right? So if you guys know, if you have a parrot on your shoulder, it will chit, chit, chit. It'll reiterate what needs to be said. It'll be, it'll reiterate what it was taught to say, but is it authentic or is it just repeating what it is taught to say, right? However, if it is authentic, if it does have integrity, if it does have a true heart, if you throw your arm up and let it go, it will come back to the owner. And that's what it, I feel Spirit is saying right now is to trust that what has integrity will make its way to you in time, with fate, with time. And if you can't trust that, you would have to really do an energetic reset, you know, and really an energetic reset. Like, why? Like, why do I need to hold on to this so hard? Why do I have a hard time? Do I not trust my own gift? Do I not trust my own magic? Do I not trust that there's something else better out there for me? Okay, so those are the cards that I have for you guys. I don't want to leave you with just that. So I'm going to pull from the Wild Wisdom Australia deck. Just randomly. I don't know what any of these cards are. Let's see. For Rose Quartz vibes, what do we have? What do we need to hear? What's the vibe? Oh, goodness. Sit down. Nova, come here. That, that's none of your business. No. Go sit down. Sit down. Down. Good girl. For if you guys hear any heavy breathing from her coughing, she is recovering with from pneumonia. So the card that you pulled is actually the card of optimism. See, this is like you sensing and you trusting that this is a good thing. Walking away is a good thing. It will refresh within you positive energy and a sense of optimism that things are actually working out in your highest favor. So trust that. Trust that. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out. And I'm going to move on to the next card or the next group, which is this energy directing wand. Bye. Hello, my loves. If you chose this, I forget what this is called. I don't know why it escapes me right now, but I've been a little um, mind foggy lately. <clears throat> this is your reading. 
Okay, spirit, what is the situation? What is the vibe? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right away, I'm seeing the four of wands, four of sticks at the very base of this deck. Then we see two of sticks reversed. I feel like this is, right now, you guys are probably trying to decide, or spirit is telling me, where do I belong? What do I want? Is this, I, I'm also seeing some, there's a sense of doubt, like the sense of, I'm hearing refiguration, like, you might be questioning or doubting how spirit is refiguring things within your life. Some of you guys, and it's funny because I'm hearing refiguration, but spirit is like, actually, this is the way that it is meant to be. There's an emphasis on reminding you that there is a divine plan and then there's your plan. And just because things aren't panning out in your plan doesn't mean that you are off of the divine's plan, right? And I, that's kind of like a mouthful. The other thing that I'm seeing here is that along your path or at this stage in your journey, you might be really questioning yourself or needing or wanting to connect with spirit deeper in order to figure out, yeah, four of pentacles, um, in order to connect with spirit deeper, in order to figure out, okay, what, what do we do next? What's the next path? What's the next What's the next venture? Where do I go from here? What is out there? And I think that with the four of pentacles here showing up, this is about you. I'm getting a sense for many of you guys. Just, I don't want to say shutting things off or shutting things down. Wow. I just got a vision, which is funny because at the, the um, first, the first pile, it was a bath, right? This pile I'm seeing a bathtub and it's filled up with water and spirit is saying turn the water off because you don't want it to overflow so there's something about turning something off so that you can interesting Nova bring it come here eight of wands yeah I just feel like This is interesting. What is this about? Give me a moment to think about this. I've never seen this before, but there's a person whose hand is on the tree. This feels very um, grounding. Page the son of baskets here and then the chariot. So the, yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is about what are we doing next? Where are we going? I feel like once you have that set, once you have some confirmation, when you have it set, when you have it figured out, you will literally, things will start to move really, really quickly in the direction that you choose. But what is it that you are going to choose? I don't see this, even though I saw the bath, I don't see it as relaxation. I see it as, I don't know why I'm hearing resourcefulness, like filling, filling, filling the tub up for like a rainy day. So I'm also seeing like conserving your resources or seeing how long you can stretch something, especially with Ace of Pentacles here, reverse, and the Daughter of Pentacles, reverse. You feel like, and Four of Pentacles, you feel like something's not going to come in you are feeling like something is not going to come in or spirit is saying, I won't allow it. I can't tell if this is you deciding that you're not going to allow anything further to come in or if spirit is telling you not to allow anything. I think that spirit is trying to give you something or pour into you, but your hands might be closed or you might be saying, all right, let me shuffle because this is very spirit. What do you? What is this? This might be. Um, what are you trying to say, spirit? What's going on? Yeah, queen. Interesting. Queen of knives. Queen of swords. Mother of knives. 
reversed. Is this their energy? Yeah. You guys are coming across really, really, I will not allow this in. This is energy that has been blocked or you are blocking it. You refuse to, I'm hearing you refuse to be a victim. You refuse to be taken advantage of. You refuse to be like done, done by. I don't know what that means. Like you refuse that. That's what spirit is saying. Like someone getting one over on you, someone um, taking advantage of you, someone draining your resources. So you have shut everything down or you have shut and blocked something or someone out. And this feels very tower card here. This feels very unexpected. It's like, you know what? Now we're not doing anything nice. It's like a parent who brings their children to McDonald's for a treat. And that's just my generation, you guys. I understand that McDonald's is trash. We get it, we know. But back in the day, McDonald's used to be how our parents, well, a lot of our parents, well, I guess my neighborhood, how they used to treat us, you know, like the treats that they used to give us. We'd all pile in my mom's car and um, she would take all the neighborhood kids to McDonald's, which was a rare treat because we were always eating vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. So anyways, so there's this vibe of like this mom put, putting it, the kids in the car and then they're like all crying. Like this is supposed to be a treat and you just turn this into a stressful situation. Now no one gets anything nice. Now no one gets anything. So spirit, I don't know why, but spirit is talking about this energy of like, yeah, you ruined some, not you, but it feels like something ruined a nice thing. And now you're just like, yeah, shut it down. We're going home. And everybody to their rooms. It feels very stern. It feels very like, yep, daughter of, daughter of knives just came here. It's like, eh, done. Get out my phone. Removing you. I'm not helping you anymore. It's like, fuck, fuck your couch. <laughs> like, just literally like spiteful. It feels very, very spiteful. Why though? Why? I, I, I'm actually, I'm getting this strong sense that like, I'm on your side right now. <laughs> like sometimes, you know me, guys, I'm Virgo. So triple Virgo at that. So I'll come in here and I give advice and I want to tell you like the best thing to do. You know how Virgos are. But so sometimes it seems like I'm not on you guys' side because I'm like, oh, you're doing this and you should be doing this. In this case, I'm like, girl, I'm with you. Everybody out of the car. She said what she said. Get out of the car. Like I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm that's that's I'm the, the vibe. I get it. So we have the Wheel of Fortune card here showing up. And Spirit is recognizing feelings of frustration. Yep, High Priestess. A lot of you guys are just like really needing to go, really needing to, some of you guys might be mad at God. Like you might be mad at the universe. You might be mad at, the divine and that's a total natural process in your spiritual journey we don't talk about that enough those moments where you're just like yeah like i don't like you right now spirit or i don't like my higher self right now those are real real feelings like i love you but i don't like you um this and with the ch ch the grandchildren card here which is the star card this is spirit saying i recognize that I recognize that I'm, you don't need to fight. You don't need to explain. Some of you guys feel like you are beating yourself up or someone betrayed your intuition, like, or you feel like you betrayed your information. I should have seen the signs. I should have seen it coming. Can you clarify the wheel of fortune for me, spirit? I just want to like sit by you right now and just be your friend. You know what I mean? Like just sit and, and be like, let's not talk shit, but like, yep. Four of Cups, something feels like it betrayed you and you're just like, girl, if you only knew what I did, what happened, these two things that were going on or these things that were going on or how things panned out. Let me see if I can put this light here, guys, really quickly. Franklin, don't you start. Let's see. My perfectionist ways are kicking in. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. That's fine. No, Franklin. Franklin's getting sassy. Yeah, I just feel like someone, I, 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 I just heard seen, not heard. Some of you guys need to be seen and heard. It's like you are saying like, how could you, someone, you feel like someone might've done you dirty or like your intuition was telling you something and then you tried to give something or someone the benefit of the doubt. And then when you find out the truth, you're just like, wow. 
Like, and this is why, <laughs> that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. So that's spirit kind of breaking down the situation or someone feels this way to you or you're feeling this way towards spirit or spirit feels this way to, to you. So what's the advice? What is the advice? Like, what are they supposed to do with this? I feel like you, you really need, yeah, wow. Hermit, I'm um, sorry, Black Herman, but this is the Magician card. I know what this means, and I'm sure you do. It's about manifestation and setting intention and manipulation and stuff like that. Wow. Seven of Cups. If you haven't, if you felt called to listen to pile number one, I would probably check it out because you guys are getting similar energy, just kind of like different, but there's additional messages that might help you. So we have Seven of Cups here. And we have eight of wands. This is spirit saying same thing pretty much as pile number one about cleansing your energy, detoxing your energy of the bullshit, the fuckery, the frustrations, the disappointment, the disillusionment and stuff like that. And then go back into manifesting. You trusted your intuition 1000%, but at the same time, you're a human being and you have a good heart. There's something about the word integrity here with the magician card. It's about, you know, you can, like, what is someone's intention and what is your intention? There's a big emphasis on that. Some people say things, speak things, but what they say doesn't match up with their actual actions. And that can be confusing for you. Spirit is also saying for yourself too. Some of you guys might need to see this within yourself where what you're saying to spirit or what you're saying to the world or what you're saying to yourself doesn't match up with your actions and what you put out there. So make sure that they are they have that you're moving with integrity. If anybody is not moving with integrity, if they're speaking a whole lot but not doing a whole lot, there needs to be a reassessment. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Let me see it on paper. You can talk about it, but will you be about it? Will I see the evidence? I'll know that I'll know that it's done when it's in my hands. I'll know that you meant it when you're by my side. I'll know when, you know what I mean? Like it's like the proof is in the pudding. So what is the advice that spirit gives to you? It's about looking towards the actual physical action. Is there something that you can put in your hands and say, yes, I have it, I have received it, or is it all words, all talk? And if that's the case, seven of wands here, it's like, you might have to fight, like if this is fighting with someone else, you're gonna have to tell them, it might be difficult for you to be like, listen, I wanna trust you, I wanna believe in you, but when push comes to shove, I haven't seen it yet. You keep talking about it. You keep saying that you're going to manifest it, but your actions don't match what you have said that you were going to do. And that could be really tough for some of you guys to say. So what is the advice? The advice is don't talk about it, be about it. And if someone is talking about it, they're not, they're not about it. Like they're not, they're not it. And then from there, you will have additional clarity into what needs to happen. Wow, this, this card keeps wanting to jump out. And I'm telling you, I'm shuffling the cards really well. This is the grandchildren card, aka the star card. So there's so much right now about leaving things up to the universe and leaving things up to, yep, we have judgment card, we have the strength card, and we have the empress. So leaving things up to people to figure them, them out for themselves and leaving you, giving yourself the space to have your own call, your own awakening, your own revelations, your own truth that is revealed to you that says, okay, this is how I've been showing up and this is what I actually want and they're not aligned especially with the Empress card. It has to be easy. It has to be effortless, but sometimes you have to kind of like fight to get you, get you there. And there's a, a series of events or a series of things that is helping to show you how you are shaping yourself right now. And is that something that is prosperous and something that you want, or is it something that's going to hold you back and hinder you? And with the big mama card here at the very base of this reading, this is the sun card. Spirit wants you to be very, very happy. I just heard this message just now. Spirit said holier than thou. So some of you guys might be concerned that you, that you asking for more or that you telling someone 
what you want is going to make them think that you're better than them. Um, my first reaction is to say, like, fuck what they think. Sorry, but that's my first reaction. But um, that's just me as your friend, not as your reader. <laughs> I can tell the difference. But, yeah, I just feel like you think about Big Mama, right? She made all this cornbread. I don't know about you guys, but I love, love cornbread. But there is a process and a way and a stage to this. Imagine this beautiful woman and she shows up to you every week and she's like, I'm going to make you cornbread. I'm going to make you cornbread. And then like months later, it's like, well, where's the cornbread? Where is it? Where? It's like, oh, yeah, no, it's coming. When? I haven't eaten it. If I haven't eaten it and there's no butter on this table and there's no knife, then there's no cornbread. You know what I mean? So look to see what who or what is offering things to you and do the ritual like they should start working on there should be an action plan that is already set into motion in order to make it happen now i just heard guaranteed results so spirit is saying guaranteed so there's certain things that are guaranteed but they have to there's a process to them and you can't fight or force that process or you can't rush that process sometimes things are you know, sometimes things, daughter of pentacles here, sometimes things do take time to build. Okay, so just, yeah, some of you guys are looking left and right and just like, yeah, it's not coming. Like, I don't see, I don't, I don't know. Where is that? Like, I don't even know. I don't even want to look for it anymore. And listen to your own discernment there, especially with the judgment card. You're, you're in the sp space right now of like serious learning. Um, right now is like what you can trust, what you can, yeah temperance card and the ace of baskets here um this is about really being patient with your emotions really being patient and really being kind and gentle and giving some great giving some grace while things kind of work themselves out but at the same time make sure that there is somewhat of a plan that is happening here spirit any last words that they need to hear right now Any last words? I'm seeing um, someone really taking time to kind of build. Wow. Yeah, as I say that, we have the judgment card and the page of pentacles here. Someone, I'm getting a really strong sense that someone is taking time to kind of rebuild or build up things that they love around them. why am i seeing that judgment card is about awakening truth a call recognition stuff like that but bones bones are the foundation of the body they give the body form right and daughter of pentacles is the or daughter of coins is something someone showing up so for a lot of you guys you guys are showing up for yourselves with bare bones bare bones situations and it reveals a lot to others and to yourself how you feel about yourself and what you're invested in and what you're building just by how you show up yeah nine of cups i'm hearing what you want exists and you're working towards it and the star card you may not see it right away but it is coming in i think that you might also be dealing with very defensive guarded distant energies i don't know why that's coming through but well it, it does make sense too it's confirmed by the chariot card here but it feels like something and also the star card it feels like something is very far away from you this could be a person this could be a wish fulfillment it feels like it is but spirit is like it's actually garden it's actually a little closer than you think it is this is the world card in this tarot deck it's actually a little closer than you think it is and it's actually come even if it's come a long way, it's almost, and that's why some of you guys are starting to feel a little burnt out or disappointed, defeated, be like, everybody out. Like you just starting to give up on the energy or give up or just hi, enough is enough. Like you've had enough. Spirit is like, I just think that, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like some goodness is, is coming or coming out of this even though you can't totally see it right now. I hope that makes sense, guys. I'm going to pull for you the Wild Wisdom 
Oracle. Okay. Any additional message or final last word, Spirit? Wow. Green tree frog, express your truth. I feel like this with this card, some of you guys are really, I mean, this will speak for itself, but some of you guys might really need to feel encouraged. Remember how I said in the start of this reading, like I feel like sitting with this group and just being a friend and not giving you advice, but listening to you. I feel like you you need that like someone to just vent to I also feel like pulling another one for you guys I feel like pulling three yep this is it oh my god yeah master of miracles the blue banded bee how cute he's such a cutie Yeah, I feel like you guys are just, I think expressing your, your truth and master of miracles, it's like with the words, as I'm seeing that, I'm hearing the words like enough is enough. Um, I feel like some of you guys, <laughs> you thinking like feeling this frustration is you expressing it is going to, are you expressing what you want? Are you expressing your whatever? is going to be a catalyst for a miracle, for a change, you know, to happen, a good positive change. Because you don't want to hold on to it. You don't really want to hold on to anything. <laughs> Spiritual leader. <laughs> Look at these guys. It's so funny. I did say the number three here. So, and we have one, two, three. So this is, I just feel like, honestly, your friends, your people, your partnership. Some of you guys might be frustrated with your own magic. I'm also getting shameless self plug, but sacred circle tarot school, like joining up with other people who are manifesting or materializing or like minded souls and spirits who are um, working tarot, working their magic, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's like finding your community that you can vent to that you can learn off of that you can connect with. Um, it help. I don't know why it just helps to kind of like um make you feel better make it helps you step deeper into your power and if not this is about friends and family coming together and listening to you for the sole purpose of listening to you and hearing you out and maybe you need to there's there is a sense of like community and connection the bee always has like a network the frog is always calling out to his network and clearly the emu is hanging out with their network. So there's a really strong connection of the community, the connection, the vibe, the tribe. Okay? So my loves, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me. And I'm going to move on to the last group, which is this pyramid. Bye. Hello, my loves. If you chose this pyramid this is your reading okay so first we're going to ask spirit what is the situation at hand then we're going to ask for clarity because we always do then we're going to ask for advice and then we're going to have some final words some final vibes okay then we're going to end with an oracle card okay so spirit speak please What is the situation or what does what do you want to talk about? All right. Well, that just jumped out. We have the fool card, the free man. This is kind of giving me a vibe of like, I don't want to. I feel like there's someone who's walking away from a secret or walking away, like something was buried away. 
something was buried away, something was hidden, something was, something was like not unearthed, something was left unanswered. And you're just kind of like being called to move forward. I'm also hearing a lot of crows kind of calling in the distance. This doesn't give me the best vibe. It feels a little, I'm doing this because I have to, not because I want to. I'm doing this for self-protection. I'm doing this because there might be some things that I don't want to say that you're not proud of, but things that maybe you would have done differently. So as you're being called to move forward, there's a feeling of an air of remorse or like mourning. Or I'm starting over, but like I only because I have to. Yeah, we have eight of swords here. Something feels unanswered. Something feels like a chapter feels like it has a lot of question marks and you're not sure if you're going to get the answers to them or if you're going to get closure is what I'm hearing. Bishop C.H. Mason. I feel like it's like the right thing to do. Not because I want to. This is the right thing to do. It's like starting over something but not feeling, yeah, dude, the moon. I'm telling you, there's like a secret. Or something that like is buried. Something that is something that you haven't dealt with or that you're, uh, you can't deal with or that some, you know that there's something more to this, but you can't quite put your finger on it and you because you spent too much time trying to figure it out, you have to start over or walk away from it or start in a new direction or... This card just jumped out. The, the fortune, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, and the chariot card. I'm here and rolling. It might... That was me, Nova. Um, and then we have father of sticks, father of wands. So this might have to do with a person, a father of wands type of energy, or maybe this is you having to, I feel like this might be someone else. Someone saying, <clears throat> or maybe this is the way they feel. They have a lot of things that they want to say or harboring or holding and a lot of things that you wish that they would say to you or that you could say to them or that you could do in a situation. It's just like, it feels like for whatever reason, it couldn't come to light. I'm getting this strong sense of people doing what they have to do for themselves. 10 of wands. It's like something couldn't be finished. Like a chapter that couldn't be healed, a, a, a chapter that couldn't be closed, or a, a book that you never get to finish reading. So now the ending is like a mystery, and now you have to like start a new book, but then you're like, well, what, what happens? Yeah, it's the truth. Ace of Swords, you want to like, you have a question. Two of Pentacles. This is like, what's... And with the two of pentacles, I'm like, what is going on? Like, that's the question that I have. What is going on? It's like, we're not going to look. You're just going to sit here and juggle. You don't see that big wave behind you. It's like, nope, everything is fine. Keep, yeah, page of, page of wands or son of, son of wands. I think this might be nine of wands. It's like starting over quickly. I'm hearing on to the next one, on to the next one. Freeze. Can some... Can someone bring me back my money? What does he say? I'm on to the next one. It's very, it feels very like incomplete. And someone doesn't have a close, like closure. There's a lot of like wounds or wounds left open or wounds reopened or questions unanswered. I'm seeing someone trying to contact the spirit, the spiritual realm contacting their ancestors, contacting spirits in order to get a resolution or to get an answer in order to gain guidance. And it's like, it's just getting foggier and, and murkier. Interesting. And I just looked on the clock. I saw 606. 
What are you looking for? What is this? Strength. Okay, wow. I didn't see that. Um, the High Priestess and the Daughter of Wands. It's like, again, this feels very abrupt. Well, this is talking about the situation. Even with the High Priestess, she's just like in the dark, working her magic, talking to spirits, trying to conjure. Or if someone's working their magic, it's like not working. Or it gets more murkier, it gets more cloudier. Or someone doesn't know what, like something is being offered and someone is not available to see it. I'm hearing the word pending. It feels, okay, it feels, this is giving me like incomplete vibes, having, not having a resolution, not having an answer, not being able to connect. Okay, so then what's the advice? Cause that's the energy here. And it feels very powerless. Like out, no matter what you try to do, it feels like there's these, hidden influences that you can't control, manipulate, switch, change. So you just have to kind of like accept it. So what's the advice, Spirit? Seven of Wands. Even as I'm saying that, the, the gator, so the alligator. I spent a lot of time out hiking and stuff. There's a lot of lakes in Florida and there's gators hidden in those lakes, hidden in those depths of the lake. You can't always see it though, but you know that they're there. If you waited, at some point you might be able to see one. But are you, spirit is like, don't wait. <laughs> because what are you looking for? What are you waiting for? There's even the gator just kind of sits and lurks. And I have a lot of respect for the gator because it reminds me of patience. It reminds me of waiting for the perfect time for something to reveal itself. Yeah, ancestors. Something might be over. <laughs> Nova's just panting in the background. Something really might be over or rotting away or hidden I this is so dark I'm sorry guys but it's like having something that is valuable and instead of giving it a proper burial or instead of giving it a prop like proper closure it's almost kind of like you don't have the body I'm sorry guys this is so morbid but you don't have the body in order to have the ritual in order to let it go and you're just kind of like being called to move forward I'm hearing spirit is saying there's things that you can do in order to, wow, oh my God. Six of cups. This is not the end. Anything that was abandoned, lost, found at the bottom of the lake or hidden at the bottom of the lake will eventually come back up to the shore, will eventually find its owner, will eventually reunite and actually have good energy and good vibes. But for right now, it's just hidden. Why is it hidden? Because it's dangerous. Why is it hidden? Literally because it's dark. I just saw this card kind of trying to creep out. Why? Because, oh my God, this wanted to jump out. Yeah, have have faith, man. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles, I love this card because she is me and I am she. It's like resting in your bed after doing some magic, after living, like doing some major work, right? Doing, putting in the work. And then knowing that you've done, done enough, knowing that you've done all that you can do, and the wisdom, I've never seen this owl here before, but knowing, and this is something that sits in the dark, but now it's sitting by her side. She has lavender petals, like lavender flowers on her bed. She, her bag is secured. She's resting herself, going very slow. Literally, we have the turtle, we have the snail, we have the cat who very, is very self-focused, and the owl who has wisdom, Everybody's sleeping in these clean sheets and just kind of resting on knowing that you are a good person. You have nothing to prove to anybody. You've done what you can do. You're a hard worker. And chances are you're harder on yourself than anybody else could ever be harder on you.
and there is something six of swords there to me this is about something else someone else going out and retrieving what you what you feel was lost so some of you guys have tried really hard to make something work or whatever the situation is you tried really hard in this and now spirits like go to your bed and someone else whether it be an actual person, whether it be your friend, whether it be your family, whether it be your spirit guides or God or the universe will go out and retrieve to you what you feel was lost. Whether it be closure, whether it be a person, whether it be a diamond ring, whether it be whatever. That's what you can do right now is be, I'm hearing be rest assured that what you thought was lost and something that was dark and dank literally guys look confirmation three of wands it is coming back in it is coming in some of you guys are feeling like giving up or hopeless on a situation like this is never going to happen for me and you're wrong you're wrong you are worthy you are valuable you are significant I don't know if I said this in this reading, but there has to do with like divine timing, like God's plan versus my plan. You know what I mean? So what's the advice? Be expectant, but don't, but like relax. I think right now, guys, the situation is very, if you were to go out looking for it, because the mother of sticks was here and she was reversed. If you were to go out looking for it, you would be disrespecting divine timing and disrespecting this energy it's like going into a lake full of gators looking for the gator and it's like well what do you think you're going to find when you go in there because you can't you're not you're not adept like you're not you haven't adapted to the situation the gator has evolved faster than you so if you go into this lake you're going to find yourself getting hurt you're going to hurt yourself so what's the best thing to do wait for the gator to come up <laughs> And enjoy all of your luxury, boo-boo. Enjoy a soft life right now. Enjoy a meal. Know that. Trust that this thing is, or this person, or whatever the situation, is coming. It is on foot. It just has to sit, lie, lurk. Probably for 28 days is kind of what I'm getting here. 23 to 28 days before it starts to reveal itself. Any additional advice, spirit? for this situation. Wow, this card really wants to jump out. The lovers. The lovers. This has everything to do with divine timing, Archangel Gabriel coming through and being like, now is the time. But also it has a lot to do with all of the spiritual world and all the spiritual realms co-signing and saying that this connection or this thing or this faded situation, now is the time. And it will not come before that. And that's why sometimes it's hidden. That's why sometimes it lies dark. Sometimes it's what lies beneath. Because there's more factors at play, which I saw in the very beginning, that are influencing this, this connection or this situation that you might not be able to see, but that even though you can't see it, you should still trust it. Because to start something too soon is going to be a disaster. We have Ace of Baskets here, and we also have Ten of Baskets here. This is the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. It feels in the eight of pentacles. It's going to all of the work that has already been put in will pay off. All of the energy that has already been exerted will come to fruition and it will be happy, but you don't want to be emotionally depleted by then and then resentful when it does start to show up. So let's say you're going out to look for this gator, right? It's like you chose, you wanted to look for this gator for whatever reason or whatever that gator is and what it represents to you. You go looking for it because you're trying to find it. When you find it, it finds you, bites your leg off and now you resent it. So let's avoid getting our legs bit off. Let's avoid that and let's wait for the gator to come up and be like, oh, there you are. Okay, then no one gets hurt. <laughs> and with the ace of cups and with the ten of cups, it feels like the most emotional, emotional fulfilling promise. Some people grow a little weary eyed at being like, well, the 10 of cups doesn't exist. For you, don't speak on my reality. I know what I have poured into. I know what I'm worthy of being poured, poured, like what is worthy of pouring into me. 
You can't tell me that the Ten of Cups doesn't exist. That is your reality, not mine. Some of us do get our happily ever after. So don't let anybody else disappoint you. Um, I heard the word frail. Don't allow disappointment or anything like that or what other people are, are saying in order to make you feel frail. What you need to do right now is Queen of Pentacles it up. Just rest in your bag. Any last words, Spirit? Yep, Magician. This is the card of now. This is the card of right now. This is the card of manifestation and manifesting and it has manifested. You have all of the potential, you have all of the worth in order to receive, in order to gain, in order to do. Yeah, just temperance card here. Some things just kind of take time and some things just kind of have to work themselves out. So work your magic. Um, as I'm working mine, 17, 17, which is on the clock, we have the Egyptian temp temple candle burning here and lit, and also the Nectar of Life candle. Both of these are available in my shop. They're fixed candles for you to work your magic. Can you guys, Nova, come on, no kisses right now, please, bud. So can you see the difference? So see how this one is all clear? Like the top of it is clear. And Sorry about that, guys. So I was actually filming on my camera and look. Are filming on my phone and it says temperature iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it guys I'm sitting in the shade right now that's how hot it is but as I was saying you can see the tops the differences of this one is cloudy and one is white this one nectar of life just and this is a message for somebody okay so nectar of life was burnt for a friend who was going through a lot of difficult times and there's a lot of smoke that was coming off the rim of it and it stain the top that's because there's a lot of toxicity then you have sorry guys then you have the egyptian temple which has burns in my sacred space when i'm working candles working my magic or reading tarot readings or doing tarot cards and it's a clean burn at the very top that's because everything is effortlessly and smooth and there's no hesitations there's no blockage of spirits just coming in and protecting and making the space sacred as it is intended to do so what does this mean? This means that there's certain things that are naturally going to be resistant. There's gonna be things that are naturally, they kind of struggle. And you can't do anything except but to accept it and to work your magic. And I don't wanna say hope for the best, but manifest the best within that situation. That's all that you can do at the end of the day. And then, queen of pentacles, you sit back and you allow your your effort, you allow your work, you allow your, your magic to do what it is that it's going to do. And like I said, there's something about someone else or something else coming in and finishing the job for you or something coming in for you. And that's what exactly what it is that I'm seeing here. So I have this Oracle card here, Wild Wisdom Australia Oracle deck. So let's see what we have here, guys. And forgive the messy setup. Um, global warming is so real. So what is the message here for this group, this final message? I'm seeing two cards. Curiosity. Look at his little face. He's so cute. Curiosity. And then we have <laughs> laughter I feel like in the in-between time you guys are meant to just kind of ease back and relax and instead of following the gator into the lake whatever that gator represents and into its own dark dankness you are meant to go into your own light space and just kind of like enjoy. Some of you guys might be watching um, humorous movies on Netflix, going out for drinks or doing yoga with your friends, all those things, doing things that you love that make you laugh, exploring new things, trying new things, getting involved, putting yourself out there and that will allow whatever this thing is that you've been dealing with, that's been hidden, that's been frustrating you to kind of reveal itself on its own time as it should be. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I'm going to go ahead and close out and start uploading this so that I can provide for you. Um, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.